friends welcome back to another tutorial of Yosemite topics today I'm going to be doing a problem pertaining to the Hardy Weinberg equilibrium that can sometimes be a trouble area for a lot of the students because it's not a lot in volume in the USMLE exam but it is persistently there so it's important that we learn this well to score those uh, marks that are kind of you know here and there and pick up as much points as we can okay so let's talk about this question right here I have this question written down right here so we're talking about uh, an autosomal recessive disease and let's say that in general population the carrier frequency of the autosomal recessive disease um, is 1% um, okay so in a general population the frequency of the disease is 1%. Now the question is that this guy, you know, is going to marry or is going to mate with a female to produce an offspring. And the, and the father is heterozygous, so he is a carrier. And if he mates with someone from the general population, what is the probability that the offspring is going to be affected from the disease so that is the question so what is the probability of the offspring to have the disease if the heterozygous male mates with a woman from the general population that is the question so now let's talk about um, what equation we're going to be using the equation we're going to be using is this one p squared plus 2pq plus q squared equals to 1. So we know that 1%, that 1% value that we talked about is very important. We know that um, in, the, in the general population, people who are suffering from the disease is 1%, or we can say it's 1 divided by 100 because it's 1%, or in other sense it's 0 0.01 right so that's what I have here so the homozygous frequency or P the P squared value is 0 0.01 that is the homozygous frequency of the general population so once we have P squared we can find P but by square rooting the 0 0.01 and the answer is going to be 0 0.1 okay so that I have here zero point one okay so we found the p-value so once we found the p-value we can also find the q-value because p plus q equals to one right and um, and so q is going to be nothing but right here I have p plus q equals to one so q equals to one minus zero point one which is zero point nine so now we have p, we have q, and we have p squared, which is the frequency of having the disease in general population. Now, um, now we want to talk about, now that we have the value, we want to talk about, so this, this, this heterozygous male, if he mates with a female from the general population, we don't know what this female is going to be. We don't know whether this female is going to be homozygous normal. We don't know if the female is going to be heterozygous. We, don't, we have no idea. So we have to think that the female, it's a probability, so the female could be homozygous or heterozygous. So we're going to be finding the probability of both. What if the female was homozygous or what if the female was heterozygous and add them together and that is the real probability of mating with a female who could be, um, you know, that would give the probability of having the offspring who will, uh, who can have the disease or the percentage or the probability of having that disease. So let's do this. Um, so let's say be at the very beginning the probability of of a heterozygous um, carrier 
let's say probability of the two heterozygous carrier to produce an offspring with the disease okay so let's say both of them the father and the mother was um, father and the mother was heterozygous so before we can jump to that conclusion we there is one fact we have to know that if both the if both the parents were heterozygous um, the probability of passing the disease to the offspring is one fourth or 0 0.25 okay we all know that if both the parents are heterozygous for an autosomal recessive disease this is a value we have to remember or memorize if it's an autosomal recessive disease and, and if both the parents are heterozygous the probability of passing the disease on to the offspring is 0 0.25 or 1 fourth so that's what I have written here so now if the male mates with the female who is heterozygous okay if the male mates with the female who is heterozygous then the female, the probability is 0 0.18. What is this number? This is the carrier frequency right here that we found here. So 2 times P times Q is the carrier frequency. So what if the, if the female is heterozygous, then the female is going to be a carrier. So that's the number we have. And the chance of passing this on to the offspring is 0 0.25 because we know that if both the parents are heterozygous, the chance of passing it on is 0 0.25. So that's how we get this value. So this is the, you know, if they asked what if the female was heterozygous, this would be our answer. But the answer is not that. But the question is not that. The question is what is the, what if the male mates with a female from the general population so we also have to find what happens if the male mates with the homozygous female with the disease so that's what I have here so if the female mates with the homozygous male then we have the 0 0.01 which is our P what if the female was homozygous with the disease but the female is not going to be passing this entire thing on to the child so that's why it's divided by two so we have this so now if the male and the female was heterozygous the probability of passing the disease to the offspring was this if the male was heterozygous but the female was homozygous the probability of passing the disease is this so what is the probability of passing the disease on to the offspring if the male was heterozygous and the female we didn't know could be this or this it's a combination of these two so we add this probability and we add this probability and we find that that would be the overall frequency of passing the disease to the offspring if the father was heterozygous and if the mother was from the general population whose um, genetic frequency we don't know okay so that would be the answer for these kind of questions a lot of the times you will see that the numbers are exactly the way would you would practice in a, in a from a question bank so don't be surprised if you get a question in your exam with one percent and if you if you see if, if it's one percent you can kind of not even do the question come kind of jump to the answer to these values right away if you practice it too, too, too much. And this happened to me when I was taking one of the NBMEs. I saw a question, I practiced it enough times, and I didn't even have to do it because I've done it before. So, you know, something that I wanted to throw it out there, you know, just, just a technique that I sometimes use with these kind of, you know, number questions. So anyway, so let's go from the top one more time to go over the entire question really quickly. So now we had uh, the general population of a homozygous disease was 1%. Our question was, what's the probability of the offspring having the disease if the father was heterozygous and if the mother was from the general population? So if the general population homozygous frequency was 0 0.01, then the p squared is 0 0.01. If p squared is 0 0.01, we can find the p value by square rooting the 0 0.01, which is 0 0.1. Once we find the 0 0.1, we can find the Q value because P plus Q equals to 1. By the way, Q squared 
P squared is the homozygous frequency, Q squared is the heterozygous frequency, and 2PQ is the carrier frequency. So here I'm square rooting the P value, P squared value, and once we have P value, we find the Q value. And once we find the Q value, then we times P, 2 times P times Q, which is the carrier frequency. The carrier frequency of, uh, of having a heterozygous um, father and a heterozygous mother. So the probability of the two heterozygous carrier of passing the disease to the offspring is one fourth. So we times this value with this value because not all of it is going to be passed on, only one fourth is going to be passed on. So once I, we multiply the two values, we get this value. So this is the probability of passing the disease on if both the parents if the, both the parents were carriers or heterozygous. They're both going to be carriers or heterozygous for an autosomal recessive disease. It would have been a different case if it was um, an autosomal dominant disease. So, But let's keep that out of the picture for now. So for a homozygous female, uh, so that this was for homo, a heterozygous female and a heterozygous male, but for homozygous female, the probability uh, was 0 0.01, but not all of it is going to be passed on. It's going to be divided by 2, and so that is the value. So the question asks, what is the probability of heterozygous father mating with a, with a female from the general population? So it's going to be a combination of this and this. So we add these two values, and that is our final answer. All right, so that's about it. And I uh, hope this was, you know, simple enough for you to understand. If not, I will break it down for you if you want me to kind of, you know, go through the steps a little more slowly than I have. I try to do the best I can. Leave me a comment. And if you have any other questions, um, please uh, leave me a comment below or anything else you'd like me to talk about. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. And bye for now. And keep studying hard. Bye.